Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for the month of May of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Alright, we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So right now it kind of feels like there you could be feeling a lot of pressure to make the right decision. Uh, maybe when it comes to your work or something that's happening in your life that is very important. Right? Like you could be feeling like I have to make the right choice or else, right? You could even be putting some of this pressure upon yourself. Maybe it's somebody else. Um, so right behind the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. So there is this energy of feeling conflict or feeling like this um, maybe like push or pull towards two very different directions or, you know, maybe even situations or people. It's kind of hard to say right now, but we do have the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Emperor, which is Aries. So I feel like with the Emperor, you could be in a position right now to make some sort of decision that could affect your future in a very big way. Even with this Ten of Pentacles coming through, it's like you have all of this abundance waiting for you. You have all of these things to look forward to, and you're really doing something that is going to attract energy and people into your life. life. But right now with the Two of Wands, you could be very unsure of which direction is going to lead you to this Ten of Pentacles faster, right? Like maybe there's two different options for you to get the kind of life that you want or to get the kind of outcome that you want. But now that you are in this position of the emperor, it's like you are in the perfect spot to make this happen, to make some sort of choice. You could be feeling the pressure and feeling like, okay, I have to choose the right way or the right, you know, door, but I don't know which one. It's almost like something is still un unclear about this situation and that's what's maybe making you feel a little bit uneasy. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Let's go ahead and clarify the two of wands. So we have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So right there with that Five of Cups, there's also this energy of, you know, maybe feeling um, sadness or kind of like maybe you feel like you've lost something along the way. I don't know. There's a very interesting kind of like balance of energies or emotions because there is this excitement and there's this happiness for the future and this Ten of Pentacles. It's like there's all this stuff that's going on, but then it feels like in the very deep part of you there's something that you're currently dealing with or struggling with um, that could be difficult to ignore even though you've got all this other stuff going on so there's the three of cups the six of pentacles and the morning now the morning card could be you know about a literal time and place um, maybe something that's happening um, in your life right now that happened or could be happening in the morning time also, it could be about you needing to reflect on something when there is a lot of light rather than when there is a lot of darkness. So being very intentional about your environment, about your surroundings could be what makes the difference between this feeling taking over and this feeling taking over, right? So with this three of cups, it's almost like the universe is saying, are you isolating right now? Are you choosing to retreat? Are you choosing to stay alone when you're feeling this way? Or are you sharing it with others? Are you sharing the load? Are you sharing the burden? Because with the Six of Pentacles, there's a very real balance. There's a very real solution and opportunity for healing here, Libra. But if you don't give that to another person or, you know, if you don't let someone in to help you with that, then it can be very difficult. And I feel like the hardest part right now about your journey is not necessarily which door to go through in order to attract this Ten of Pentacles because you don't have to attract it. It's already yours. It's this part right here. It's the emotional part. Something is happening deep within that is making it difficult for you to realize exactly what is out there for you. So I feel like this is more about your, you know, emotional space than anything else. Let's go ahead and clarify the, let's clarify the morning card.
All right, we have the seven of the seven of wands. So right now there is definitely this feeling of kind of resisting, maybe um, blocking. Let's see, we have the page of wands. No, sorry, page of pentacles. The sun, which is Leo, and the moon, which is Cancer. So it's interesting because right now we're seeing the moon and the sun, almost like there's two, you know, very again two very different emotions showing up here. But I feel like that seven of wands is you could desperately want to let go of that resistance and let go of that wall uh, but you may be fearing that you know someone might not be able to help you the way that you need help in honestly libra whatever it is that you're going through i feel like the page of pentacles is saying open up that door for communication open up that door because i feel like a lot of what feels unclear is going to be revealed by the brightness of the sun right by the warmth of the sun allow warmth in don't isolate right now because something is going to be very clear for you if you allow yourself to open up and talk about it open up and let someone in this ten of pentacles is saying you've already got everything you could ever want but if you remain closed off because of something that you feel you can't share with the world or you can't share with another person then it is going to be very difficult for you to see that and feel it within yourself so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one